Hey Primary 5 Math Prodigies, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of Math Mastery. How are you today? Alright, yesterday I gave you a pretty difficult question and I expect you to try your best. Even if you didn't get it right, it's okay, but try your best. But now I'm going to reveal to you the answers for yesterday's question. So if those of you who did it right, I'm going to give you a high five and give you a good Math Prodigy. The question was, when four numbers are added together, the total is 468. If the first number is decreased by 10, the second number is increased by 15, the third number reduced by 2 over 3, and the fourth number doubled, the four numbers would be equal. Find the value of each number. Wow, this looks pretty difficult to me. Does it see you yet? Alright, for those of you who got the answer, the answers are the first number is 96, the second number is 71, the third number is 258, and the fourth number is 43. Now, if you got it right, I'm going to give you a big high five. You are a math prodigy. You are really good at this math thing. All right. So now I'm going to explain to you how to do this. It's actually pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Pretty, pretty, pretty what? Pretty simple. Okay. So let's do this. All right. Okay. First off, you need to understand a few things. When four numbers are added together, so the sum. So this, for example, let's just play a little game. This plus this plus this plus this equals to what? 468. Good job. Now, if the first number is decreased by 10, the second number increased by 15, the third number reduced by 2 thirds, and the fourth number doubled. Okay, all these are actually very too much details. It's very difficult. But what we're going to do is we're going to make it simple. We just read this part of the question which says the four numbers would be equal if all these things were, were to happen. So, you start off by doing a very simple um, diagram, yes, um, by drawing a little, oops, model, okay. So, make sure that they're all the same. I'm going to use my magic trick here and copy it. <laughs> copy this, okay, one. So, that's the second one, second number, third number and fourth number okay so they're all the same you can see right all of all are the same now this, the, the, let's read let's read again okay it says if the first number is decreased by 10 decrease by 10 so is this current okay let's just put one two three four so we don't get confused yeah the, the question is if the first number is decreased by 10 the four numbers would be equal that means before that was it more or less than 10 you see, it was decreased, you know, decreased. I mean, it was made less. That means before that, it was more. Good job. So before that, it was more. So let's make some changes in red here. Okay, that means previously there was 10 more. Okay, so we write here 10. Next part. The second number was increased by 15. Increased by 15. That means before that, was it more or less? It was less. Good job. That means before that it was less than, so it means you must draw one line here and say this is 15. Good job. And the third number was reduced by 2 over 3. What does 2 over 3 mean? Take a look at this. 2 over 3. That means before that there were 3 parts, but now there is actually only 1 because 1 minus 2 thirds equals to 1 third, which means that this is actually only 1 of it. Ah, so all you have to do is make it um, triple. Okay, so let's draw extend some more. Okay, extend and we have some assuming this is the same. This was before. Okay. And lastly, the fourth number was double. So before that was it was it uh, was it what was that called? Was it half or what? Before that it was lesser. Which means before that it was only one part. It was half a part actually. Okay. So knowing all this information, this whole thing equals to 4, 6, 8. You get that part? Good job. So, now what we have to do is we have to just delete the things and add the things that are supposed to be add, added. For example, in the first one, you actually have 1 unit plus 10. In this one, in the second one, you have 1 unit minus 10, minus 15, sorry. In the third unit, you have 1 unit times 3, which you should have 3 units. 1 unit, 1 unit, 1 unit. In the, th in the last one, you don't have 1 unit, you have half a unit. 
Can you see that? Ah, so if you were to add all these up together, what you're going to get is, you're going to get the 4, 6, 8. Can you see that? So let me just do it here so that you can see um, what this is, how this looks like. Let me take out the question for a while. Okay. And take a look here. Can I delete this? <laughs> Excuse me. Having a little cold here. <laughs> Okay, so the question was again, this whole thing equals to 4, 6, 8. So you just add 1 unit plus 10, okay, <clears throat> plus, what else do you plus? 1 unit minus 15, good job. Plus, what else? 3 units, good job. Plus, half a unit equals to what? 4, 6, 8. Very good job. So you just add this up there. There is 1 unit here, 2 units here, 3 units here. So 1 plus 2, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, and half unit is half. So you get 5 and a half units. Plus 10, minus 15. Uh, How is that? When you plus 10 and you minus 15, you get minus 5 equals to 4, 6, 8. So now what do you do? Now you bring over this number to this side. So 5 and a half units actually equals to what? 5, 400 and 4, 6, 8 plus 5 is what? 4, 7, 3. Okay. Oops. You must do is you must count this in over two. So what do you do is you actually have how many parts? Five is actually equals to ten parts over two, and this is eleven. So eleven over two. Ten plus one is eleven, and over two equals to four seven three. And then you will find out that one unit. Oops, I have no more space. I can write here. Okay, don't do this in your in your books. One unit equals to. Um, 86 that is one unit okay now I'm going to delete everything so that you have clearer you can see everything okay just remember that one unit equals to 86 why doesn't this go hmm. let me see uh, okay so one unit equals to 86 now what you got to do is very simple for you to find out the numbers all you got to do is look at this thing again okay look at this again so now you know that one unit equals to 86 so for the first number is actually equals to one unit which is equals to 86 plus 10 and hence you get 96 the second unit is actually one unit minus 15 which is 86 minus 15 which you will get 71 the third unit is actually equals to um, three units which is 86 times 3 and you will find out that the answer is 258 and lastly, the fourth number is equals to half a unit, which is 86 divided by 2, which is actually 43. And that is how you find the answers. So the most difficult part of this question is actually how to draw the model in such a way that it's correct. Okay, so if you got it, you are a true math prodigy. I'm very proud of you. Good job. You are a math prodigy. All right. So if you don't get it, pause the video, keep watching it until you get it, and keep practicing. Keep practicing until you get it because you're going to get an A in your final year exams. Remember that? Remember that. Good job. Okay, I'm going to delete everything. And now I'm going to show you the next question. Okay. The next question is for today. Mr. Tay had 115 red pens and blue pens all together. After selling half, not harder, <laughs> selling half of the blue pens and buying another 20 red pens, he had the same number of blue pens and red pens. How many blue pens and red pens did he have at first? Very easy. Remember, this is very, very easy. Pause the video, take down the question, and do the answer. Okay? Do the solution. Quote of the week, victory loves preparation. The more you prepare, the more easy it is for you to be a victor or achieve victory. Victory loves preparation. With that, I'm going to sign out right now. Coach Seifel here. You are a math prodigy.